The pandemic has injected a shot into Australia's manufacturing sector. Disruptions to global supply chains have forced customers and businesses to buy and make more products onshore. And as restrictions slowly ease, activity is on the rise again. Rachel Papazzoni reports. These machines are busy making at-home rapid COVID tests for client Alum, which until the pandemic had been making flu tests. Our customers have had to pivot quickly to deliver uh, to their customers. The rapid COVID tests aren't approved for use here, but they're in huge demand in places like the US and the UK. We're building a number of production lines for them, which are, are going to be delivered to their Brisbane facility and also into the United States. And they're not the only company that's been able to pivot into a profitable space. After the initial shock of the pandemic, manufacturing grew at its fastest pace in five years until May. In the three months to June, production rose 0.9 of a percent. While lockdowns have slowed growth, the prospects of states opening up has seen activity pick up again. Government incentives are encouraging manufacturers to expand their capabilities. Roma Engineering makes products for the IVF industry, but an almost $6 million government grant is helping it create products for space. We're manufacturing bespoke parts for all the major players in space in Australia, uh, engine components um, and various other bits and pieces. Even before the pandemic, investment to increase manufacturing was on the rise. $4.8 billion was spent by the sector in 2019-20, making it the second biggest contributor to research and development in Australia. Four years of R&D created this spider-looking device to inspect small and dangerous spaces. Its creators say customers aren't prepared to wait while goods are made overseas, which means more manufacturing in Australia. For us to engineer and then design and then send it away uh, overseas to then get it back and then modify it, it doesn't solve problems quick enough. It's that demand for fast solutions that's helping the sector climb higher. Rachel Papazzoni, ABC News.